Welcome back to the lab. Six years apparently, I thought it was four years. Six years that this poor thing has been sitting around in a bit of a slumber because it had a punch in the face. Quite a good punch in the face. Um, needed lots of new bits. Basically everything back to here and some things over there. All of that. Well, oh, actually, no, the chassis was all good. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so we're looking at getting it up and running. I'm going to confess it has actually it has run for a few seconds, uh, but not with any coolant in it or anything like that. So I was just going through the process of sorting all that out. Now, it's sat with uh, some slash no coolant in the motor for that entire time with the coolant system exposed to atmosphere which is basically the worst thing that you can do to a motor if you want to try and resurrect it later on but that's how things have worked out um, so just in the process of sorting out the, the thermostat actually genuinely have not yet pulled that it's wet so we're gonna have some poos and wheeze come out of that there's our thermostat it's dripping all over the front of the car. That's toasty, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, whoops. Oopsie daisy. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's a shame when accidents happen and we have to replace parts. Uh, this needs a bit of a clean up. It's snowing. It's going to need more than polish. Some things had some polish. That needs to be sealed. Ah, it's not blood, don't worry. Looks like it though, eh? Looks gory. Uh, these things had a polish. So we've got the, the entire intake systems there. Um, some clamps are missing because we're not, obviously we're not going to be running boost anytime in the next couple of days. So at least, um, yeah. Let's uh, put that into the sandblaster and make it look mint. Well, oh, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Who didn't expect that? Actually, that's... I reckon if you give that a poke, it'll come right through there. Is there a pokey thing? There's a pokey thing. Oh. Yep, it's going to stay there like that. What do you reckon? No. Oh. Yeah, poking pretty hard. Hasn't gone right through. Bit of a drilling action going on there. No. Nah. That's... Uh, yeah, you could fix it if you really wanted to. You just weld up the... The worst offenders, that one there, that one there, that one there, that one there, and the hole. Yeah, and give it a bit of a polish, and that'd go again if you really wanted to, or you just buy the new part, which is probably 40 bucks or something, and there's probably some aftermarket bullet ones that are, if you didn't see what I just saw, you're not looking hard enough, uh, bullet ones that are probably, I don't know, 100 bucks or something like that, whether it's worth it because uh, it hides down under there that's over to the owner i've said we need a new thermostat there was an accident with the thermostat just a terrible accident and um and a bit of a bit of um we'll call it cancer uh, that's quite on topic um a bit of cancer in that so we need a new one of those speaking of cancer it's not me don't worry well worry for someone else um someone quite close to us Again, it strikes the house. So if you feel like going to um, New Zealand Cancer Foundation, making a donation there, do that. Don't need to say you've done it. I just, it'll do. I've said it in public. Some of you guys might uh, might do that and, and we might feel better thinking it's possibly happened. Meanwhile, um, that will be... Yeah, fine i'm using that term very loosely that will be fine to put back in the car for now with this bit of sealant this is the stuff that i said if you didn't see it you weren't looking hard enough 
that will let coolant go through there into this channel and out. That, that's normally filled with sealant. The sealant may stop it, but there's a fair bit of that there going on. Um, that's not so bad there that you get away with that one. But yeah, that section there and that section there is throw it in the bin stuff if you want it to last. If it's your cheap work hack and you're only using it on a daily driver basis and it's a you know, two thousand dollar car or whatever. Hey, who cares? It'll be all right. Uh, if it's an engine that'll cost way north of ten thousand dollars if you overheat it, um, you, you don't put things like this back in there and leave them in there. Uh, so, but for now, I'm going to seal that up, put that in there without the thermostat. Oh my god! Everyone will say, "Oh my god!" There's this is not the end of this problem. There's going to be a lot more of this in there. I've, I've seen evidence of it in a couple of spots and we're going to have to um, carry out quite a big cleansing <laughs> ritual. <laughs> Is that the correct term? We'll get some, um, some guys in grass skirts with spears running around, poke the tongue out and cleanse it of all the, all the bad mojo that's going on in there. I'm not being racist. The grass skirts could be from anywhere, Africa or whatever. Um, we get a priest. How's that? There There you go. Now we're covering all bases. And we'll get rid of the bad mojo that's in there and see that we get away with it. Um, it it's sometimes very, very, very... Do you need to see my face properly? Now the sun's in my eyes. There you go. It's sometimes very, very bad leaving motors around and... Well, it's all the time very, very bad leaving motors around in that sort of condition and that state. And sometimes you don't get away with it. You get it going and for some reason it just keeps blowing um, combustion gases into the coolant system or whatever. And then you get it apart and it's corroded right through somewhere critical and it's bad. But you don't know till you try. We can, we can do all sorts of pressure tests right now, but... There could be a bit of crud sitting there that'll hold it and then it'll just go when he's driving it. So we need to flush it all out as best as we can and, and do what we can do. Far out. I was going to put a K on the end of that, but let's not. Um, I put the phone down and I, and I went looking into the motor and oh my gosh. Dum dum it's not good man it's not good at all in fact i'm taking that hose off and i'm not putting well i may put the other hose back on in some some strange configuration because i'm not putting that crap that's in that into that that's bad then it'll take forever to get it out of there so we'll bypass the radiator for now even if I just cobble together some bits of pipe and just do a loop and just have it just nothing else but the motor and some way to drain it out easily and yeah, let's not take the shite that's in there and put it in there, that'd be bad. Now, for those that are over-endowed with confidence and misunderstanding of their own intelligence and are thinking that What's this guy doing mucking around with this based on that thermostat housing? This thing is definitely stuffed. So that top pipe fittings come off. And as an example of what you can be dealing with, despite it sitting around for years and years and years. Oh, we've got flickery lights going on. Um, not too bad, eh? There's a little bit there that's not great. But that will be totally fine. Not forgetting we've got a rubber hose going on there that's clamped on there nice and tight. And there's, there's minimal, there's a little bit, but there's minimal stuff and things going on inside there. In the end here, that's been on the linen, linen, I'll spit it out one day. On the machine with the belt there for a couple of seconds, and that is, essentially that's perfect. For a second hand item, there's nothing wrong with that, it's going back in. So it's quite the contrast to what you see with that one. Apparently this has been sandblasted before. This has had issues in the past. Uh, this, I, I'm going to throw a number out and he's going to say I'm wrong and he's going to correct me. That's been rebuilt at least three times, I reckon. But let's, he'll say. Um, so <laughs> because, because GGR life um, has been broken and fixed and broken and fixed and broken, left lying around and being fixed so um, just because you see something like this doesn't mean it's terminal for the 
that's a bad choice of word, isn't it? Given the subject, it's it's the end of days. Oh my gosh, there isn't a good word to use, uh, term to use. Just because you see something like this, it doesn't mean it's all over. Even that one's bad. For for this, you know, there's there's hope. There is hope beyond corrosion. All right. Okay, so both those housings are back on. As I said, no thermostat. And just for what we're doing right now, I'm just going to have that top hose there like that. And the bottom hose is in completely the wrong orientation and sitting like that. So we can go outside now um, and back flush it, like push it back the wrong way. There's no thermostat to stop it. I'd rather any crud that's in here that gets dislodged and gets moved somewhere and jams something up is on the uh, low pressure side of any orifices and things like that orifices remember i said that it'll come in funny shortly uh so like the coolant flows in that hose and out that hose if we're washing it this way and crap comes off and it goes do 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 finds a hole and jams itself in there also remember that um then when we put it all back together and start it up and the coolant goes the other way it will dislodge it and wash it out versus if we wash it this way same thing happens it just jams it in there and then when we run the engine it just jams it in there further and makes the situation worse now big exhaust on this pretty big cams i think not crazy big but it'll be a little bit brup, 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 but it'll make a bit of noise especially because it'll be stone cold and it won't have any coolant in it or it might have a hose running through it just to yeah, we'll do that so the head doesn't cook up. Um, but the tailpipe has got provisions for something I call a butt plug. So that hole there, let's see, you can bolt something in there to shut it up. So we're looking for a butt plug and I'm pretty sure I've got one of those in my box. I, I did just say that, didn't I? That's not where butt plugs go. They don't go in your box. But in this box here, I, I can't see it, but I'm pretty sure there's a butt plug in there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Let's, let's actually have a look. Why don't we? I can do this one-handed. That's, that's, that's pretty heavy box, that. That's my four-jaw chuck. Look, if you need any... I've got this sort of stuff here. I have all sorts of... Dock. Look at little pipes like this. Little pipes like that. Ah, oh, there is one. That's too small though, isn't it? Pretty sure that one's too small. We need a bigger butt plug. That's too small. It's a good start though. I told you I had a butt plug in my, in my box. Raucous laughter from the viewers. I don't think I've got two butt plugs in my box. You'd hope not. Might be slightly uncomfortable. No. Don't think so. Don't think there are two butt plugs in here. Well, I mean, if we just clamp that in there, we'll put put one bolt hole and one bolt in it, right? That is probably going to um, it's probably going to shut it up sufficiently that we won't annoy too many people. Okay, now I'm gonna put all this crap back, and um, yeah, I'll just put a bolt through that and leave that in there, and it'll be a bit better. It should be pretty obvious why I don't want to do the next stage inside. Almost looks like a full car, doesn't it? It's missing front bumper, um, but other than that, you'd look at it and think it was it was all right. It was fixed. Um, not a bad looking car. Just needs a white guard on there. Bud plug installed. 
it's not the right butt plug but it'll do um, this doesn't look steep but this is steep enough that I can't push that up there and um, all the noisy bits all the leaky yucky bits need to be not in my workshop um, so we're going to wash, it's only rusty water, we're going to wash all the rusty water down the drain, into the storm drain. I'm so sorry about that, but let's be honest, steel comes from the ground, so we're just putting iron oxide back in the ground where it comes from originally, so all greenies can grizzle about that, and I'll just say I don't care. Um, Mr. Owner is going to come and sit in it, because it'll start and drive, he can, he can back it out there. <laughs> we're not going to run it for very long just enough to get it out there uh, and then we'll put the hose in there and we'll flush all this crud out of the motor uh, meanwhile I'm going to clean up that mess there and put that drill packet back in that mess over there alright I, I tighten those a bit more right take two take two oh two oh now I'm yeah don't worry about it hey there you go it's amazing how tight the belt has to be on those aftermarket pulleys. Let's see if he can figure out. It moved! It moved! It's moving! This is the first time it's gone anywhere in literally years under its own steam. Uh, I think it's the first time Sterling has driven it in many, many, many long time. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Stop there! Stop there! Stop! Stop! Now turn it off! Ah! It moved. See, it went from there, and it went all the way to there. And as far as I can tell, there's no trail of destruction on the, on the ground, so we're good. Yay. This is all, actually, this is the march that's done a lot of this, and it's that thing on the sump that I need to fix by putting a CNC piece in there which will cost mega bucks but I'll get on with it soon so we'll put these rubber things back on here not these tires <laughs> they're huge we'll put these back on there and then we're going to wash out the engine this will be interesting rightio that's what's coming out of our motor as you can see there's some BS coming out of there and we don't want that in the radiator so that's why this is a pretty sensible idea for the amount of time that it doesn't take this is a good plan um, yeah it's kind of pouring it onto that plug but I don't really want it pouring it on that plug well that should be waterproof there yeah, that's a bit better it'll just give the front of the car a wash but that'll be alright here we go. Don't worry greenies, it's, it's mostly just water. And iron oxide comes out of the ground. That's how we make iron. Yay. Impressive. It looks pretty impressive. I'll give that headlight a bit of a polish and see if we've got any chance at all of making it anywhere nearer that. I believe, well, Sterling said that the owner, that you can get, possibly get, the lens kits rather than the whole headlight assembly because they're worth absolute mega bucks and you can't get those ones. Um, not impressed with the weather. That is not being very polite to us while we were working, although it's stopped raining now. We had this out there and doing stuff and things that started raining on us. Damn it. Um, that has all had a bit of a degrees a pretty good degrees from the top i haven't done it from the bottom it really needs to be on a outdoor outdoors hoist and get it up in here and degrease the heck out of it uh where is my torch my torch oh, look i was polishing some things because the aluminium gets a bit crusty when you get degreaser on it so i just made that all look beautiful for you guys um oh, in there look at that look at that I cleaned in there. Oh, it's a bit hard to see it. Yeah, somewhere back there. It's all it's all white. See? 
I got rid of all the road grime and made it look nice so that when we go through recompliance and repair suit and everything, they're not going to try and find something that we haven't already seen. And if, if you clean it, then you'll see everything. That's the theory anyway. Um, very, very, very hard to turn the steering on it with uh, probably semi-flat, um, semi-slick tyres and four-wheel drive and all that sort of carry-on. So absolutely need to get the old belt onto the power steering there, or the new belt rather. Tighten a few things up, fill it up with fluid, leave that all up, make sure that all works and that will help us um, carry on with our future endeavours getting this thing on the road. Right, do you reckon that'll polish up? Let's give it a go. I've already forgotten how yellow that was, but still slight tint to it. The old yellowness going on. Probably worse out here because I haven't actually focused on that as much as the rest of it. Another 10 minutes, it might come up all right. This definitely looks significantly better but you'd expect that it's brain spanking new it hasn't been exposed to uv light and it hasn't been polished to get them matching a little better so that you don't pick that that has a new one and that doesn't a new lens on that that's problem solved alternatively a little bit of clear coat over the top of that one with like one drop of yellow in it and then give it a polish when you're done and then they're both going to look exactly the same and you wouldn't notice but i'm not going to damage that one to try and match it to that one it's not my car wouldn't do it i alternatively put a tiny little bit of black in some clear coat and just paint both of them and it'll it'll hide the yellowness in this one and it'll tint them down a little bit and it'll look pretty awesome if you didn't know and you weren't looking it might be a bit harder to pick we've got green reflecting off the off the back lawn there so that kind of makes it look like something it isn't eh, i think it's it's all right see if i stand here they look completely different right because you're seeing everything that's out here the greenness if i put something else here it might hide that see told you um does look um opaque you can sort of see that it's been polished see it's kind of like a cloudy slightly cloudy look to it compared to that so a finer grade of polish perhaps might get rid of that Actually, the colour is not bad. You can seasick. I'm getting seasick. I'm going to stop doing that. Yeah, I'm going to have a crack with some better polish and see if it'll come up a bit better. Right. A little bit more activities have happened. Uh, it's after four o'clock. I'm going to stop very shortly. I am getting a sore hand. But the yeah, power steering stuff and things, it's got fluid in, in the reservoir there and it's got a belt. I had a belt in stock cool didn't have to go anywhere to get that so that's done run it up checked it pressure each way bled it all through at the moment it's good um speaking of bleeding it all through mm. <laughs> yum yum looks like bloody tomato soup uh so i'm gonna ditch as much of that as i can and cycle it through a few times and just try and get it somewhere sensible I will go and get some antifreeze tomorrow and some engine flush and we'll get some antifreeze and some engine flush in there. Sounds like a race, waste of antifreeze, but the goal there is to stop it corroding. If we just put tap water in there, which is what's in there now, um, lots of minerals and stuff and things and chemistry happens and it goes fizz, fizz and makes more rust. So you actually need to put the right stuff in there, um, especially if it's going to be in there for a while. Um, plus some flush to try and get that that stuff out of it it's not really um not really tomato soup is it it's anyway um 
that'll do for now you guys are probably hanging out for a video i'm sorry there's been a lack of there there has actually been a lot of work going on um yeah and we want to get something else wrapped up before i can finish off that series for that one so that's 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 what's happening there, there's content coming i promise all right thanks for watching cheers bye just like the waikato river that's beautiful you want a drink sterling